Tonight, it's a four-way face-off for survival between Big Ben... Hello, I'm Ben. I'm 30 and I'm from Marla Ben. ...his best mate, Mario... Pepper. So much harder than any of you in my housemate status. Gossip lover, Jovan... She twists everything. ...and devout Christian Dave... I am very, very intoxicated right now on the love of our Lord. But who hasn't got a plan? pair of shoes on. Sorry. Sorry, everyone down there. <laughs> and that can mean only one thing. It is eviction time! <laughs> right, so last week, it was a case of ladies first as we waved goodbye to Rachel, but tonight we have a quadruple hit of testosterone for our second eviction. Well, it's a triple shot, isn't it, and Ben? Uh, let's... <laughs> Let's see, facing the top this week, touchy-feely trio, sort of Ben, Mario and Dave and gossipy Joe Van. They're dead men walking. Later, one of them is going to be walking down those stairs to face this lot. <laughs> our eviction crowd. So, your numbers are coming shortly, but first... Oh, there's so much to catch up on since we last saw each other. You gave Rachel the boot. She then gave Corinne the day of her dreams and the tree of temptation gave Scabby Kajagoo the date of her dreams with Kai m m m If you missed any of that, then this recap should help you. The first person to be evicted from the Big Brother house is Rachel! Corinne. Yeah. Yeah. The brightest eyes shine on magic light. Tomorrow for Corinne, it's looking bright. Oh, my God! Try not rub my eyebrows off. Tell her it's ridiculous not to, so please tell her. Chubby has something that she wants to talk to you about. What? Are you actually serious? Yes, I'm serious. No, if he does not call, man. I am absolutely mortified. I really like you. Yeah, I yeah. like you too. No, I really like you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm not laughing, so I'm just really awkward. Oi, Scabby Kajagoo. Yeah. I want you to hang out with your best mate Ben this afternoon. You've got to give him a great big bear hug and all. And that hug must last for at least one whole entire minute. You did what I said? Yeah. So I suppose you want your treat? Yes, please. Remember, you must never, ever mention how come your date came about to Kiva or anyone. Uh -huh. If you do, you'll face the full wrath of the Tree of Temptation. Housemates nominated for eviction this week are Shabby, Dave, Jovan, Ben. However, nominated housemates will now take part in a task. Oh, oh no. Not again. Do you, do you like pasta? It's not my favourite. No. The winner of this task will save themselves from eviction. Sorry, Mary. Work. So much harder than any of you to get my housemate status. Housemates have successfully completed today's backwards day shopping task and earned themselves a £500 <laughs> to shopping budget. However, housemates, the rules regarding nomination is very simple. Big Brother expects you to abide by it. As a result of all rates, all housemates will be 
on basic rations until further notice. So the tree's up to his old tricks again, and uh, this summer and tonight we've got four relative saplings, you know, in tree terms, facing the axe after just 17 short days. Either Ben, Dave, Jovan, or Mario are going to leave tonight. But who, in the words of the tree, should sort off? Here are the numbers to dial. To Vic Ben, call 09011 323 001. 09011 323 001. To Vic Dave, call 09011 323 004. That's 09011 323 004. To Vic Jovan, call 09011 323 005. 0005. Or to Vic Mario, call 09011-323-009. Calls cost 50p from a BT landline. Calls from other networks might be a bit higher and mobiles will cost considerably more. 15 pence from each call is going to be donated to charity and lines are going to close later on in the show. Uh, so please make sure you dial those numbers very carefully. Right, time to see what our housemates got up to yesterday morning. And after George Osborne's emergency cutbacks this week, the housemates are facing some cutbacks of their own. Dear 16, 9.46 a.m. Yesterday, as punishment for housemates repeatedly discussing nominations, Big Brother removed all food from the house and replaced it with basic rations. Due to a further rule break from Ben, Big Brother has also turned off the hot water supply to the house. And how do you feel about oh, what happened yesterday? I don't know. It's like... It's happened, hasn't it? Yeah. Ah! Jesus! It's coming right for me, then. I think it was going for the flowers. <sighs> um, I don't know how we're going to cook stuff without any oil. Oh, it's all going to be boiled, shit. hasn't it? No, is it? Oh, yeah, boiled chickpeas, boiled rice. We've got salt. No sugar, though. So it's toast, dry toast for breakfast, chickpeas for lunch, lentils for dinner. At we're going to lose some weight this week, aren't we? At least it's something, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, could, could be worse, could it, babe? Could but be. Yep. Yeah. We could have horrible food. At least I like this food. Well, it's mm. quite nice. I'm loving the bud. <laughs> Oh, well, Sunshine should be happy. We're all going to be vegans this week, well, apart from the milk. Such an intelligent boy, Mo. Put things over in such a beautiful way. Uh, that's one way to describe it. Crack of shit is another way. <laughs> but it's not the end of the world. But by day two, by day two or three, it will seem like it. <laughs> you know, I think as well, the cigarettes are running out. Oh, yeah, especially when the tobacco runs out. That's when the fireworks are really going to fly. Corin, there, um, there, is there no hot water at all, Corin? No, babe. Nothing. Oh, fuck, I'm not getting up then. Don't be so soft, John James. I don't start with me, I had a lovely cold shower. Oh, you did not. Yeah. It's lovely. What's the weather like? Not that bad. Right. No. Oh, no. 10 10 a.m. Mom? Mom? I can hear music, but I can't stop dancing. Mom? Mom? <laughs> no, you said last night you was going to um, come and lay next to me. What happened? Is it because I didn't go to bed early? Oh, uh, do you know, I think I was exhausted just from the, everything that went on last night. Yeah, I know. Con continually trying to stop Ben from walking off a cliff. I thought after I spoke to him, it'd be all right. Yeah, but it's, I don't know, it's, it just seems to be in his nature that he keeps wanting to... Leave. Not, not leave. Not, not even leave, it just keeps getting himself put into... His, put his foot in it. Yeah, getting himself into unnecessary trouble. Like, to constantly be there to stop it from happening. 
Well, you shouldn't feel like you always have to... I know, but... ...fight his battles. I know, but I, you know, because but he's my friend and I feel certain members of the house keep ganging up on him. And I don't... Ganging? Who? Not, not ganging up on him, but they're like, the whole, the whole thing about, you know, that he may or may not have nominated... Oh, I'm not saying that word. May or may not have done something regarding someone else in this house. Who everyone, keeps talking about it? Everyone was giving him a super hard time, and I don't think that's fair. Woo! Yeah. Invigorating! <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm looking, and because the sun's out and that, it looks like it's warm under there. Does it? Yeah. Does it look like it's steaming? Yeah. Oh, this is bullshit. The rooms are, like, three degrees. There's no hot water. We're eating lentils and rice. I don't even see what the point is in getting up. How are we supposed to shower with cold showers? And then, not only that, we've got to come into an air-conditioned room that's like got icicles hanging from the roof. The food's shit. And everyone's in, and everyone's pissed off. I'm not happy about it. Never in my life have I ever had a cold shower. I refuse to have a cold shower. It was fine until... It was fine until the hot water went off. Like, the lentils and rice you could probably deal with for probably... A few days, but the hot water, may as well walk around stinking up the joint, and there's nothing to get up for anyway. So may as well just not, may as well just walk around and not even talk. And people are shitting themselves now, they don't even want to talk, they don't want to talk about anything because they think they're going to get in trouble for everything. I don't even know why I came in here, because all you're going to say is, stiff shit, and it's going to come back in due course. If that is all, now the diary room is open. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Twelve twenty-five p.m. How are you feeling about um, tomorrow? Good. Well, you know, like yeah. you said, it's right now. It's like probably a better. I, li thing. I like to stay, obviously. That's why I'm here. But um, I'm ready to leave as well. You know what I mean? I, I feel like if my time is up here, then great. I'll just move on in my life, you know what I mean? So and I, you've had the experience. And, I, and I'm having a really good time, and I feel like I'm starting to, you know, come into a lot more of who I am after an initial sort of week or ten days of crap, missing my family and kids and stuff, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I feel like, I feel like I'm, I've had a good time, and if I was to go, that's fine. There'd be no you know regrets. Mm. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not about to start playing the game and start trying to, you know, make out that I'm something that I'm not. Ben and Mario are in the garden. Potatoes. Vegan. Sunshine. Moon. <laughs> Craters. Hole. Pit. Quarry. Hell. Heaven. Purgatory. Big Brother. <laughs> Experience. Bizarre. Uh. <laughs> oh man! Oh, that is so cold. It's like oh, ice hitting your face. Fucking hell! Fuck! That's so cold, man. Fuck! I can't do it. That's it. That's me over. I've retired, undefeated. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, Jace. <laughs> but I could do that easily because I used to wash the hose pipe. Oh, come the time. on then, Mrs. Moo. Get in here. <laughs> Turn it off, put that on me. I'm going to be serious. I can't see you. I can't see you. Chocolate. Want. <laughs> Need. Desire. Urge. Crave. Um. Uh, <laughs> what are you? No, no, I was counting myself out. Uh. Mario, get a room! Did you see him? 
want, need, mmm, oh. I mean, forget JJ needing a cold shower. You're going to get Mario in there straight away. Mmm. Anyway, all the housemates, they're really desperate to survive tonight. Mario's even pledged to streak naked around the house if he stays. But will you be seeing Mario's molehole later on? Or Joe Van? Ben or Dave continue their lucky streak in the house. It's up to you. Get voting. I'll see you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother and eviction number two. OK, so we're feeling good tonight. Glastonbury isn't a washout. Andy Murray is still in Wimbledon, and the boys are through to face the Germans in the World Cup second round. But tonight, one of our boys will be knocked out in our second round, and they can't blame the Germans. It's all down to you. Now, here are the numbers to dial. To Vic Ben, call 09011 323 -001. To Vic Dave, call 09011 323 004. 09011 323 004. To Vic Jovan, call 09011 323 005. 09011 323 009. 09011 323 009. Okay, time for our second bit of house action. And Ben stuck up. No, literally. 1.56 p.m. Shabby and Kiva are in the kitchen. I'm still hungry. What the fuck is this? There's fog on in the fridge. I wouldn't even go there. <laughs> I don't know. I keep hoping that if I look in there, something might have appeared, you know? God save our great just queen. What are you singing there? Royal Anthem. Really? Anthem. Really? Yeah. Has England got a national anthem? Britain does. Does England have a national anthem? Does England uh, have a national anthem? Oh, are we asking somebody else? No, you do it's, not. That is the English no, national anthem. No, no, it is it? not the national anthem. Well, you that's what it. the football players say. It is, but you technically don't have one. Uh, Mrs. British. Mrs. Because you seem to think I'm married. Do yeah, you? Probably. probably. If you and John got married, what would be the colour beam of your wedding? I honestly would think about wearing a Tinkerbell costume. That to my does wedding. not surprise me. So who would you be, Johnny? What Peter if Pan. I was married? If I was coming to her, have... I'd come Pan, as mate. the invisible man. I'd just not show up. <laughs> Don't get angry. Nothing angry about my tone of voice, darling. Ooh, ooh, darling. You just think about your poor dog at home, eating horse meat. <laughs> no, my my dog eats good when she's at my house. My dad makes her. This gets a chicken and stuff all day. Oh, chicken. We're feeding it chicken as well. I don't. My dad does. But, so you don't agree that you don't think that we're supposed to be eat meat? <laughs> no, I don't think I'm supposed to eat meat. I believe that everybody can make their own decision. I've made mine. This is a yes or no. <laughs> Do you believe that humans are supposed to eat meat? Yes <laughs> or no? I don't... No, no, I no. Don't, no, no, no. I yes don't run no. the human yes race. or no. <laughs> hey? I don't run the human race. Uh, or what's your belief? You've got your beliefs on the Yeah, vegan. my belief is for me as an individual, not for the human race as a collective. Well, if you had to answer, what would you say? Hmm? I'm just asking for your oh, opinion. Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. Huh. It must have been the tone of your voice. That's all right, I'll ask Somehow it again. Somehow my brain just <laughs> naturally converted the sound waves into dust. That's fine, I'll ask it again. So do you believe <laughs> that you... Oh, must... John, be quiet! You're like a <laughs> broken record. <laughs> no, you just, don't, you just felt uncomfortable with the question because you knew that you couldn't answer it properly. Give me my shoe back. No. Give me my shoe back. Why do you, why do you make me get up? <laughs> You're such a bloody teaser, you are. Go on. Go on. Oh, we just take her in there, sort her out in the wardrobe, and then sort her get out. it sorted and out, out of the way. Go on. Go and have a word with her. <laughs> in the wardrobe. <laughs> in the... God's sake. Oh, why do you make me get up? You know I'm going to come you in. You don't need your shoe on, do you, John? You know, all right, then. Go and have a word with her. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get up. And you're going to whinge, and then you're going to go, <laughs> go in there and tell everyone you've got a red mark on your ribs, girl. Fight it. So cool, does the best. You don't need your sunglasses on now, do you? Yeah, I do. You know why? <laughs> 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 Five eleven p.m. 
Today, housemates will be taking part in the first ever Big Brother Science experiment. It's a stick-up. Housemates will be testing the relative stickiness of tape and glue. Ben will be stuck to a wall with tape by Kiva and Iffy. John James will be stuck to a wall by Josie and Dave using glue. Each team will have 45 minutes to stick their guinea pig to the wall. Mario, who has taken the role of the Big Brother scientist, will attempt to predict the results of today's experiment. What are you doing first? Get in our, get in our spots then. Get in our... Right! Right down, John. Wow! Bless me. Smells like industrial glue. Yeah, it is. If you put it on my ass, I'll be arcing. <laughs> Do it like more vertical. Yeah, so no, but we got to get we... shit on my fucking sock. Can you stop moaning? Guess who had graffiti over his mouth? I've never been so confined. Oh, fucker! Think I'm part of the matrix or something? Don't get it under there. Jesus, my armpit hairs will be stuck together. Yeah, I'll <laughs> oh, cheer up then, you miserable bastard. Hello, Mario. Oh, hello. As you can see, your assistants are sticking Ben and John James to two wooden walls in the garden. Yeah. It is your job as a scientist to predict how successful they will be. Okay. If you are correct, you will pass today's task. Okay. You must predict if one housemate, both housemates, but neither housemate will be stuck to the wall when your assistants remove the blocks under their feet. I believe one housemate will succeed in sticking to the wall. Thank you, Mario. Put some on his mouth. I think the girls are going to be more Sunshine, that joke has been done ten times, I nine know. times and by it's you, still, and it wasn't funny then, and it ain't funny now. It hasn't been done. Still, still I can hear your voice. 32 minutes later. I can't do Okay, this. we'll just secure you now then. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You need more tape around Ben's shoulders and it has to go all the way around the back. In the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's stopping me being able to breathe, so can you please... No more over the middle. Is it like almost 45 minutes through now? Yeah, pretty much so. <laughs> ben, you <good> Ben. <laughs> I don't see why he can't breathe because he's got enough space to lean back. <laughs> oh, please don't um, pull it all the sticky stuff off, Ben. <laughs> no, lit lit literally, I'm having trouble breathing. Well, take shallow breaths. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't fucking breathe. Don't die on us, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do it, I'm oh, sorry. You're nearly done, mate. You're nearly done. I can't do it. You're nearly done, mate. I can't do it. Oh, for God's sake, just get him out of it. For God's sake. I'm not getting him out of it. Use the scissors. Use the scissors. Use the scissors. Oh, that is so funny. That is so funny. He's gone green. He's gone green. <laughs> Oh my god, I've been able to stop the thing in you. So, another task where I spent hours doing something that means nothing. This is the third task, you realise that? That I've done there where I just don't. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mummy. <laughs> it's the mummy. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what are you. Every time I try and find a way to redeem you, Ben, in the group. Bloody ruin it. God, that bit felt ill, can you? He felt bad. Sorry for laughing, like, um... No, 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 I would have laughed too. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing because you were laughing. Oh, oh God. my fault. This is Big Brother. On the sound of the klaxon, housemates must remove the blocks from under Subject 2's feet. Right, you got him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fast. You got him? <laughs> you have got a big package, actually, Joel. Why do you keep telling everyone to sit little for? I can see it. It's a little bit of a surprise. 
Don't lean forward. Keep your toes in the air. Oh, yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? What <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Mario. Yeah. Your prediction was correct. Yes. You have won yourself a dinner in the diary room. Sticky ribs followed by sticky toffee pudding. Well, right now. You may now leave the small task room and enter the diary room. <laughs> <laughs> have you got a really bad word tonight, John? Yeah. What does it look like? <laughs> <laughs> Just make you want to actually pull your trousers out of your bum bum. Oh, I must have had the worst wedgie ever right up there. And Ben, I love Ben. He was stuck up even when he was stuck up. I can't do this. I can't. I just can't do this. Anyway, it's a straight shootout. Ben, Dave, Jovan, Mario, and in Sunday night show, we've got another shootout for you. To celebrate the football, our housemates are going to be taking on the German Big Brother housemates. Shootout! You don't want to miss that, and I'll see you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother 2010. Since entering the house, Ben's had a large mole on his side as love struck Mario has literally shadowed his every move. And tonight, you've got the opportunity to remove that mole or indeed one of those other unsightly blemishes. But how? With a simple phone call. Here are the numbers to dial. To evict Ben, call 09011 323 001. 09011 323 001. To evict Dave, call 09011 09011-323-004. To evict Jovan, call 09011-323-005. 09011-323-005. Or to evict Mario, call 09011-323-009. 09011-323-005. Now, have you got an opinion on tonight's show? Well, look, rather than just sitting there shouting at your telly box, Head over and join the live chat on channel4.com forward slash big brother and just get chatting. Really good fun. Okay, so let's get the next dose of action and the housemates are all discussing who might go tonight. But of course, that is all, as always, up to you. Six thirty-five PM. As a reward for Mario correctly predicting the result of today's science experiment, Big Brother has provided him with a special dinner of sticky ribs and sticky toffee pudding. Has everybody else won something as well? Because you got the prediction correct, only you have won the sticky rice dinner. <laughs> and, what, and what have the housemates received? Nothing? They will be receiving nothing. Good old Mole, you'll pull some food out now for us. It'll come back and it'll be like, oh, I've just been to an Italian for like five course dinner. Oh, yeah. Oh, lush. Yeah. If you went to Italian, what would you order? Beef carpaccio. Beef what? Beef carpaccio to start. What's that? Uh, raw beef slices with uh, rocket salad and parmesan. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Um, spaghetti marinara for mains, tiramisu for dessert, and shitloads of wine and coffee. You? <laughs> mm. I like carbonara. carbonara. I like the way it sounds as well. Carbonara. I'll have a carbonara. What would you have for starters? Prawn cocktail? Prawn cocktail, a carbonara dessert. Pavlova. Strawberry. Good choice. And a drink, madame? Um, Probably just get bladdered on wine, like through the mill. Nice rosé. Seven eighteen p.m. Dave's gonna go. I don't know, ma'am. Really? Yeah. Well, I fucking hope so. Okay, after the last couple of days, I think the playing field has widened mm -hmm. slightly. The only person I know for sure isn't going, or so you think. 
is Mario. Mm. Am I the most disastrous Big Brother husband ever? No, you know, you're by far, you're nowhere uh, near before disasters. You're by far one of the funniest, though. No, but have I been the one that, that's just gone from one sort of argument slash accident to another? <laughs> No, it's been many in between. I thought you were going to be catapulted onto a Velcro, and I just had these visions of you flying through the air with your... With, <laughs> with, your, with, your, with your foppy hair flying through the air, cracking onto the wall. <laughs> and you're doing your little head tilt as you're flying through the air. <laughs> Steve knows me too well. That would have been funny. Oh, so I had tears in my eyes, just the, just the thought of it while I was waiting for the that, TV That would have been out. seriously funny. Ify, how do you feel you did in the task today? Well, I tried my best, but obviously Ben couldn't, said he couldn't breathe and everything. I can't help but not be sympathetic. I don't know why. Everyone's like, oh, you know, he couldn't breathe. I don't know if I'd have done it. I'm like, you just get on with it. You just grin and bear it. I just think Ben is like, oh, I'll give it a good go, but oh, no, I can't, so I won't. Oh, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've had my ups and downs in this place. I've had some great times with you guys. I've had some pretty dreadful times. I've made some mistakes. I've, I've, I hope I've done some good things too. At least I was game to give it a try. And that's something I am proud of. Oh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. <laughs> Eight forty-seven p.m. As a reward for taking part in today's experiment, Big Brother has provided housemates with alcohol, soft drinks, and nibbles. <laughs> <laughs> got to get all my nails ready. To play. Clear. I want clear nail varnish okay, on. Yeah. All got to be perfect. Buffed, buffed. <laughs> Tweaks done. Oh. I might even let you put some guy liner on. <laughs> it's got to be perfect. If I'm going to be crucified by the mob, I want to be in good nick. You understand that, don't you? The end of the day, this is where I see it. I think, I've most, for the most part, I've behaved in a way that I feel is, you know, is... I have no, I have no reason to be ashamed of. So, yeah. if I'm unlucky enough to go, then, you know, it's like, well, fuck you all then, because... I don't think I actually did anything wrong. I think there are people that have behaved in ways which aren't much worse, personally. Trying to cause ruptures in the house, you know, trying to further their... themselves. If I was at home, I think I'd be more likely to vote out Ben or Mario. David, because the thing about David is, I know, I know, I know how David is from be, having to be around him. I'm not sure how. If I have to put a fiver on it, <laughs> I would have to say Ben. But I'm not sure how people are going to view the whole religious bantering and all that stuff going oh, on. Oh, God, I forget things like that. Because you know what? One thing I know would offend my granddad and, and offend me from home as well. The whole pretending to be drunk on God thing. And, I then, find and there quite... is a lot of people that that will I find up. But he might also have a lot of people in his favour. I'm really, really not sure. I think I know who's going. But then I thought I was going last week, so you can't trust my judgement. But you, you, I think, I think everybody here is would have to say Ben. How are you feeling about tomorrow? It's all just the same, babes. To be quite honest, I you've mean, dealt with this so well. I just, it's yeah, one of those things. I just it, can't. Yeah. I just have to take it as it comes. Do you know what I mean? I can't. At the end of the day, I don't want to go, but I'm not going to ruin the time that I've got here by getting upset about it. Look, you know to be honest mean? with you, I don't think you're yeah, in yeah, a thought... you're, you're, you're in a bad position, but I think you're up the up against the two best people that you could have been up against, yep. in my opinion. Yep. So, I just wanted to update you on how our four boys are handling their sort of pre-eviction nerves. Dave has been a bit quiet, actually. She hasn't really spoken, and Joe Van's plucking Josie's underarm hair. That is so gross. Ben's applied a mascara um, to try and make himself look best to deal with the nerves. Mario's obviously more concerned about Ben going. Um, but remember, not only can you call us to evict our housemates, but you can actually also call in and tell them exactly what you think of them during their interviews with me. 
So call us on 0871 200 2244. That's 0871 200 2244. Or you can send us a little tweet or you can find us on Facebook. So your opinions, good or bad, could be featured on one of our future victory shows. Anyway, we really love hearing from you guys, so just get in touch. Even that little stray Shetland pony, you know the one that watches TV in Joseph's front room in Bristol? Hi! Hope you enjoyed the show. Nice. I'll see you after the break. <laughs> Brilliant was that. Welcome back to Big Brother and Eviction number two. Okay, now at the call number two, because frankly, getting evicted in week two of Big Brother is caca. You know, poo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it is. Tonight, those four are trying to stay afloat, but who do you want to flush out? To Vic Ben, call 09011-323-001. 09011-323-001. To Vic Dave, call 09011-323-004. 09011-323-004. To Vic Jovan, call 09011-323-005. 09011-323-005. Or to Vic Mario, call 09011-323-009. 09011-323-009. We're going to get back to the house now. And if you want a job done properly, do it yourself. Eh, Mario? 10 or 7 p.m. Most of the housemates are in the living room. I, I, I used to be able to self-filate myself when I was younger. Really? Oh. You used to be able to suck your own... Suck, but suck, suck, suck Johnny. yourself off? Can you? You can suck yourself off. Yeah, pretty close, yeah. Not the whole way, but I can get close. Oh, but, but enough to make you excited or not? No, I don't do it in that way. I just, <laughs> I just know that I can. So I couldn't imagine you being, being able no. to, uh, you know... I can't anymore, but when I was younger, I could. Really? Yeah, yeah I, think, what? I think my spine is, like, stiffened up, yeah. Well, no, no enough to you, make yeah, you... Yeah, mind you, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't probably know now. I, I could I know, I know at one point, I could. <laughs> but I can understand you being able to do it. I didn't say I did do it, I just said I could trip. do it. Don't lie, you just told the old nation you suck yourself off. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's true. Oh. it's true. I think there were only a few very solid one to one bonds yeah. in the house. You two are definitely one. Mm. Me and Josie are one. Yeah. Ben and Mario yeah, yeah. are one. But then I think, I'm not sure if sometimes that. I don't want to think But is this. that a bond because Mario fancies him? And he's been just using it to his advantage. I'm not saying he doesn't like mm. him, but, you know, like, he'll always be like, come on, come on. And I just think, oh, you know, I just, I don't want, I don't want Mario to get dragged down in the shitstorm that Ben might leave in mm. his wake sometimes. But at the end of the day, there's nothing, there's fuck all wrong with having, you know, a, I'm not to say a dark side, but a darker side in there. We've all got them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But some mm. of us, I think, are a lot more forth just blatant about it. Yeah. If you want to say something, say it. Mm. Like... Don't always whisper. Always whisper. I know. <laughs> it's like what you say to you. You man up and say what the fuck you've got to say. Do you know what I mean? Corinne has come to the diary room. There haven't been no arguments today. Controversial argument. I love it. I love the words now that I come out of an air I'm it's that controversial. But yeah, it's been, it's been like all right. Is that a new word for you since you've been in the house? Yeah, I love it. I've I've had quite a few actually. Vocabulary. I've I probably just said it a little bit wrong. Vocab vocabulary. Um, like words like roll off my tongue, and I love it. Like what did I say a minute ago? Controversial. Did I use that one? You did indeed. Right, so yeah, that's like something what I'd say, oh God, I'm not getting involved with this, it's too controversial. Um, the argument's getting heated in here, which, yeah, I know heated's not like a thingy word, but I can't, I can't really think. Like, it just comes, comes out, you know, without me really thinking. Eleven ten pm is that just because you don't like your real name? 
Yeah, I like my real name. Why don't you change it by default to Sunshine then? Because I don't want to be like graduating with the AstraZeneca Prize 2007 and a degree in medicine with a BA ons in medical journalism. It's Sunshine. <laughs> so you, like, so, I don't want that to happen. So you do understand how ridiculous yes, it does sound. I don't sound. want to have Sunshine on my name badge because no one will take me seriously in the hospital. Which is what I'm doing right now. I'm not taking you seriously right now because your name is not Sunshine. Yeah, right? Yeah? I'm Jace. Yeah? Having a good time, yeah? Yeah, mate? <laughs> Wow! I'm doing it for the big girls. <laughs> Whatever. Wow! When you Don't get out, neighbor, you really embarrass me now. When you get out, you'll be so. Sh I think you might be so shocked at all the people that will be like, "Oh, Josser, <laughs> you will." <laughs> You should know me by now. I'm not a liar. I'm, I'm not dishonest. And if you were a dog, I'd say, listen, though. But you're saying I you've got a lovely personality. No, but, no, but Josie, I just wouldn't say you're anything. You're not a dog, I'll go. No, but Josie, listen. Josie, if I thought you were a dog, I just wouldn't mention the fact. You're very pretty, girl. You are. You are. Thanks, guys. Stop it. Come <laughs> on! Stop it. Look at you looking at me like that. <laughs> My name has been Sunshine for two or three years, probably maybe even longer. Your nickname is Sunshine? Yes. Not your name, your no, nickname. No, but everybody except for very, very old, very close friends, and mostly they call me Sunshine too, call me Sunshine. I understand why you call yourself Sunshine in here, but I don't understand how you can introduce yourself to people that you've never met before as a nickname. Because that's what but most people call me. Can I be called Bubble? Can I be called Bubble? Yeah, Bubble, why not? What do you want? I'd be loved. <laughs> loved. Kiba, be what loved. name would you like in here? We're all choosing our bubble. own name. Maverick, we'll get, we'll get name what are you age. called? <laughs> <laughs> that's how ridiculous it is. <laughs> it's ridiculous. In here, I understand completely. But out there, to re actually refer to your name as Sunshine is ludicrous. What do you want, Miles? Why are we changing our names? Yeah, why not? Apparently you can just wake up one day and decide to pick whatever the fuck you Are want. Are you really trying to wind me up because you're getting on my nerves now? <laughs> I can mean nickname whatever I want, as long as I'm did you, do did, anything correctly. Did, I mean, have you only uh, invented Sunshine since you got in it? No, it? for the last three years people oh. have called me Sunshine. Can you see why he has a problem with this? Some people call you Seahorse, exactly the same thing. Yeah, what's the problem with that? He doesn't introduce himself as Seahorse. He introduces himself as Nathan because that is his name. His no, name is Nathan. He wants, no, he wants to be called Seahorse. Are we seriously having a conversation about this? Because <laughs> he will like... wind me up about anything. He just don't let him push your button. That's, that's sexual tension, darling. Yeah, I think it <laughs> that's is. That's what it does to you. <laughs>Housemates are in the bedroom discussing tomorrow's eviction. Oh, well, who do you think's going tomorrow? I'm, you know exactly who I am. No, I do not. I know okay. I'll I... tell you. I'll Let's tell just you. all wait and see eh, tomorrow. Yeah. Nobody knows. <laughs> Make Sunshine does feel though. like shit. Listen, Karine. Sunshine, Sunshine just said she yeah. knows. Who? Who do you think is going? I think John James is going, and if he's not, then I think he should. <laughs> 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 you'd, you'd miss me, Sunshine. John James. John, you imagine. imagine going. You would, so. You pretend that you wouldn't, but you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I don't lie. John, you fancy me, don't you? <laughs> Do you, Sunshine? Do I? <laughs> I love Kiva gets in with a cheeky every <laughs> time. Do you, Sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the girl's got a point. Do you? Are you asking me? Yeah. Yes. Don't give her fuel, Corin. I did last week, but now I've got to know him better, I don't. 
Right. Did you? Woo! Did you really? <laughs> did you really, Sunshine? No, it was just before didn't. you started opening your mouth. To be honest, John, I'd rather kiss it's Ben. Dragon fruit over there. <laughs> Whoa. Excuse, excuse me, Sunshine. If anyone's going to be fucking kissing Ben, it's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Mario. <laughs> Sunshine so totally does fancy John James, doesn't she? I mean, it's just absolutely clear as day. And I can give you a little update because today, Sunshine and John James were in bed together and they were definitely, I was watching in my room, in my dressing room, and they were definitely flirting, for sure. And she was kind of lying next to him, like pretending that. She was sort of asleep and then she'd like open her eye like that and try and look all sexy while she's sleeping. Anyway, listen, our four boys can do no more. The voting lines are now closed. I'm going to be talking to the house later on. The end is nigh for either Dave, Joe Van, Super Mario or Big Ben. But for whom will the bell toll? I'm going to be seeing you at 10.35 to find out. And then as soon as we're right... <gasps> yeah, it's for that. It's for that face that yeah. we're doing this. What, what face? I could pull that face like... for fucking 20 seconds. That's like 20 hours if I can get this one. Which one's my favourite one? Or...